becoming this uh, amazing artifacts found in Germany. Give light to others, and we'll save you again. Let's go to Red Ancestors. Picture this. Two Italian miners found 16 bones of what they thought in Neander Valley, Germany. The cave's owner, Wilhelm Beckinsmith, handed the bones to a teacher in Wilhelm Goldsmith. It was Johann Karlsson who later recognized the prehistoric bones for the of the Homo sapiens Neander. Neander. Shorter and stockier than our modern men. Their skulls were also shorter than modern humans with long foreheads, furry eyebrows, and beautiful features. They had very big, wide noses. Geologists believe this is that the become Euro Asian based on the civilization. Let's explore their harsh and sparse conditions. Neanderthal men needed to hunt. To gather their own food in order to survive, they pursue signs of cooking fire for their meat. How did they catch these animals? Archaeologists learned that the fascinating group evolved to make advanced tools, knives, scrapers, spears, and points. The creatures lived and traveled together and created communities. They created rituals, including burying their dead and caring for their sick. Stone Age humans made knives of stone. The tools were primarily used for hunting and defense. To make, for example, a hand axe. It started from a large piece of rock, which was shaped by hand rock hammers and made of wood stone gathered together. They also used ore to make spears. And they hit the ore with the hammer repeatedly evolved to shape the painted spear. Secondary use of these tools was a carpet cycle. Neanderthals used arrows and bows were for animals far away. Spears could catch fish and meat, dig for crops, agriculture, and hunting and bake. Look at what these major creatures evolved to do. Cave paintings were created to show rituals and tell the history of the tribe's great hunts. Look how captive Hamus sapiens were at telling stories. Look at the artistry in the original paintings, these glorious paintings evidence that the rituals here, you see how the tribe marked the kids turning into a dome. When a baby is born, they put the paint on the baby's hand and placed it on the ceiling. And when they were adults, they would paint their hand again and put it on the cave wall to show that it had turned into a doll. This was part of their rituals. Neanderthal drew animal prompts to call and animal spirits for plentiful hearts. Cave paintings also told these stories about fierce battles and great hunts. September 8, 1942, boys stumbled on this fabulous artifact in a cave of Lutzla, France. This scene is a great depiction of an amazing migration of animals. <laughs>